Six simple things to consider when prototyping. You could prototype with one, paper or cardboard. Hey, IBM have been using paper in their prototypes since the 1980s. Clickable, make something that enable people to click so you can see whether they react or do the things that you want them to do. Number three, you could create a mashup using a technical combination of everything, a Frankenstein of different proprietary products to enable you to come up with something that somehow works. Four, you could have a beta launch of something. I mean, Google did it with Gmail. They had a beta public version to enable people to test it to see whether it works. Hey, there's a few faults, but this is what we're going to do. Or five, we could have a pop-up like the fruit juice company from the UK, Innocent, did. When they were looking at testing whether they should go into business or not, they went to a music festival, put up a stand, and had their fruit juices there for free. They had two bins. One bin said, if you like it and you think we should start a business, put your bin in here. And if you think we should, you know, don't give up our day job, put it in the other bin. It enabled them to test the stuff. And the final one, number six, is Lego. Lego is just another way of building to enable us to get out of our heads to do something physical to communicate our ideas. Six ways that you can use prototypes to take your ideas and to communicate them with people.